Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's the Nutcase Case Nicole and I'm back again with the shenanigans here on the Nutcase Network, you guys. This is your daily crystal inspiration message for June 22nd, 2021, which is a Tuesday, June 22nd, 2021. I feel like you guys will be getting a delivery today. Um, maybe something that you ordered online is coming in today. Um, but let's see what is going on with you guys. Keep in mind the messages are general. They may not be for everyone out there, so be sure to go with what you know. And remember, time is fluid. It moves like water. This could be past, present, or future energy. Okay, be sure to check out the Daily Crystal Inspiration playlist. And if you haven't seen the Monday Motivation for this week, be sure to check that out as well, where you will see the crystal for Monday, June 21st, which was yesterday. You guys, um, be sure to subscribe if you have not already, for sure. Thank you to everyone who's already subscribed. And personal reading information is in the description box below. All right. Guardian angels, archangel, spirit guides, and ancestors, Father, Mother, God, please show me the crystal that my collective need for today, which is Tuesday, June 22nd, 2021. Okay. Iolite. Okay, because I'm not going to be 100% on this pronunciation, but it looks like I like to me. Shift your money mindset for sure. We've gotten that before. I like, okay. And then citrine is at the at the bottom. Bring in the light. I want to see what's at the back of the deck. Oh my God. What the fuck? These crystals today. Cry so praise. Cry so praise. Allow yourself to receive. Chrysopraise. I hope that I'm saying it right. Citrine, Chrysopraise, and Iolite. Bring in the light. Allow yourself to receive and shift your money mindset. Okay. I'm getting that this is like a poverty mindset situation. Like an impoverished mindset that you've had maybe from lacking your entire life. And it's causing you to... Um, I feel like it's causing you to look at money negatively, okay? Let me find Iolite. Here we go. So, it says shift your money mindset. Money might make the world go round, but it shouldn't have you running in circles. It's important to view your cup as half full instead of half empty to maintain a healthy perspective. When you shift your attention from what you don't have to appreciating what you do, you attract more of what you desire into your life. Embrace a feeling of enoughness and know what know that whether or not you have everything you want, you definitely have everything you need. Bring more awareness to your internal state and challenge yourself to express gratitude for where you are and what you have right now. Instead of chasing money and material items, chase happiness and satisfaction with your life as it is currently. You will soon see that your cup runneth over. The core questions are, are you a conscious spender? Do you buy what you want or what you need? What would make you content with your financial situation? Okay, the affirmation for today, you guys, is I live in a state of abundance. Again, I live in a state of abundance. 333 was just on the timer. Today, express appreciation for all that you have. So I feel that there's a poverty mindset going on here. I feel like no matter how much money you guys get, you always feel like there's an energy of lack, okay? No matter how much is the no matter how much the number is in your bank account, you still feel like you don't have enough or you feel like you can't afford what you want, okay? Or you can't afford you're thinking that you can't afford what you need. But really I feel like it's that you can't afford what you want, okay? And I feel like you guys are dealing with a poverty mindset, okay? Or with the mindset that you never have enough or that you're never going to have enough. Um, I feel like you need to accept what's coming towards you. Because just like the I like card said, everything you need, I feel like, is right in front of you guys. And you guys may not be paying attention to it. Or you may not be seeing it that way. Some of you may still see yourself in a state of lack. But you have more than enough financially and materially to be able to support you and your family. But you're feeling as if you still do not. Okay. I feel like you need to bring more positivity in the situation. Just like the card said. You need to look at the glass as being half full instead of being half empty. Look at your bank accounts as being replenished instead of 
having to spend money. Don't look at the money going out. Just think about how much money you've been having coming in. Um, I feel like there is a negative aspect about the way you think about money. Some of you guys spend it before you get it because it's like, I don't know, you spend it before you get it or it's like when you get it, you you feel like you have to hold on to it because it's going to run out or something like that, okay? But I feel like, like the card at the back of the deck, someone told me to read the back of the deck and it says, allow yourself to receive. So it has to do with finances. It has to do with money. It has to do with um, financial abundance or job abundance, career abundance. That's what I feel like this is about today. And I feel like you're needing to see how successful you truly are, how well off you truly are, or how protected and taken care of you truly are, despite how much it is that you feel like you either have or don't have. Okay. What spell does my collective need to put themselves under today? Romance. Wow. Number 23. Romance is a sacred Sorry, romance, it is a sacred power. Let it come to me this hour. Hmm. Imagination, okay. And glamour, okay. So some of you guys are being delusional about a relationship, okay? I feel like some of you are imagining that you're in a romantic relationship. Some of you guys could be envisioning maybe who you wanna be with in a romantic relationship. But you need to make sure that you're not being delusional or creating illusions in someone's mind that are not real, okay? Um, maybe some of you guys could even be leading somebody on. Either you're being led on or somebody is... Either you, either somebody's leading you on or you're leading someone else on. That's what I feel like is going on here. Somebody is imagining a, a relationship that's not real. Maybe... I don't know. Somebody's imagining a relationship that's not real. If it could have to do with some type of finances or money or someone is trying to create illusions in someone's romantic life in order to get money. OK, but something weird is going on. OK, in regards to someone's uh, relationship and money, this is romantic. Um, someone could be imagining a relationship with you because you have money. Or someone could have lied to you and uh, wanted to get into a relationship with you only because of your money. Or there could be a situation where you are imagining a relationship with someone and imagining that there is something between you and someone else because they have money. And maybe you need to shift your money mindset. And that's why. Because some of you, like, I mean, I did just post in my community board about being with a rich person. Whether you're male or female, a lot of the things that y'all are going to see me post could be centered around women because I am therefore a woman. So I am here advocating for women. But if you are a male or masculine energy who's in that same type of vibe or headspace, take it how it resonates. Use the knowledge and gain the knowledge and wisdom that you need. Don't get so hung up on sex, gender, or whatever. Just take the message, okay? But I feel like there's definitely an energy of people thinking that if they get with somebody with money, then everything will be okay. Or someone thinks that if they can just get you to love them, then you'll share your money with them. Something weird along those lines. Okay. What is the um, Pisces guidance message for my collective for today, Tuesday, June 22nd, 2021, God? What is the Pisces guidance message? Because Pisces is ultimately like, you know, the 12th sign. So I feel like, you know, we got a little touch of everybody in us and we've seen a little touch of every sign go through things before we had to go through it. So, you know, knowledge and wisdom is power. Let's see what is the Pisces guidance message. Thank you. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Okay. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Please stick to the rivers and the lakes that you used to. Okay, at the bottom, we have the magic within you. Yes. So go with what you know. Like I always say, y'all be thinking I just be saying shit to be saying shit. Go with what you know. Okay, don't go, don't go doing things or chasing after situations that really are not for your highest good or really are not going to serve you just because you think you're going to get money or just because you think somebody's got money. Okay, it says number six, don't go chasing waterfalls. Something may look more appealing than it actually is. Use your intuition, okay? So some of y'all could even be imagining a fake relationship and you're being delusional 
or there's an illusion in your mind that somebody with money is going to be a better relationship and that is not true. Or there's someone who thinks that they're entitled to your money because maybe you guys were in some type of romantic relationship. Maybe you had kids. Maybe there was a marriage involved. But it's like somebody's like, I feel like somebody's very materialistic here. Somebody's very money hungry. You could be dealing with a gold digger of some type, whether it's a male or female. I don't care. But somebody's either chasing after your money because they feel like all of their problems will be solved or you're chasing after somebody else's money because of that as well. Okay, the magic within you is at the bottom of the deck. So now this is today. This is for today. This could be somebody maybe coming around you today that gives you that vibe that they're only around for your money or something sticky on the floor. Hold on, y'all. That's some of my lash glue. I know it's my lash glue because <laughs> I be peeling it off. Cause I reuse my lashes and I wash them. Yes, I do. So, <laughs> so stick them to my toe. But yeah, I do feel like, okay, let me just read the card. Um, number 14, the magic within you. You are a magical being. It's time to use your gifts. Yes. I feel like if you're trying to be with somebody or if you're trying to look for a relationship right now and you just are focusing on people with money, maybe you've been dealing with like you know, a bunch of dusty motherfuckers that really been broke. You know what I'm saying? And they're broke in spirit. So they're broke financially. You know what I mean? And that's what you've just been dealing with. Uh, whether they're male or female. It's like you may think that going after somebody now with money is going to be a better option. But there's people with money who are broke too. Spiritually. So. And which ultimately, you know, because that's what's on the inside, that's ultimately going to lead to them being broke on the outside. People who get money, if they're broke on the inside, they're going to stay they're they're going to stay broke on the outside. It doesn't matter what they portray or how how rich they try to make themselves look. They're still it's it's not going to last. It's not going to be real riches. It's going to be somebody who's either living behind behind beyond their means or um, living behind their money, maybe. Um, they don't treat people right. They just use their money to get ahead. Or somebody who, you know, is living beyond their means and they're in a lot of debt. Or somebody who's just very much so depressed and, you know, they end up not having a good life no matter how much money they have. It's like the grass is not always greener on the other side. So I don't know what this is, but I feel like either somebody wants to be around you because they feel entitled to your money or it's like you are looking for a relationship with somebody because they have money or you're looking for someone who has money because you feel like it's going to be better. But I don't know. Let's see the Kipper deck. Let's see what the Kipper deck has to say. <clears throat> Y'all go ahead and be sure to like, share and subscribe as well. Guardian Angels, Archangel Spirit Guides and Ancestors. What does my collective need to know for today, Tuesday, June 22nd, 2021? I wanted to say May 22nd. What does my collective need to know for today? Okay, so occupation family room okay and bad health in reverse okay so i feel like what is this journey okay and expectation so at the bottom of the deck is the journey card i wanted to make sure i looked at that and expectation so you could be expecting to take a trip or you could be expecting to take a vacation travel you may have already planned this okay i feel like two tens again which came up in the friggin monday motivation video 10 on the journey card, which keeps coming up. And then two and eight, which is the expectation card, which equals 10. So I feel like you're expecting to start a new journey. Okay. You know that you've ended a cycle. You know that things are changing in your life. I feel like some of you are even expecting to take a vacation or some type of trip, or that's what you guys are planning to do. Okay. This could definitely be something that is happening to you in your life today because you've decided to embark upon a new journey. Okay. And this is a part of the beginning stages of this new cycle that you are on. We have occupation, we have family room, and we have bad health in reverse. I feel like you guys are no longer feeling trapped in a home situation, or maybe you're no longer feeling like underwater when it comes to like your investments or your home, or you're not feeling trapped anymore. It's like you're not feeling like you don't make too much or you don't make enough. I don't know what that meant, but it just feels like things are changing in your financial situation or things are changing in your emotional state when it comes to your family, okay, with the family room card, with things that are matters that are close to your heart, okay? I do feel like you may work from home, okay, with occupation. I feel like you've been working a lot. I feel like you're working on new things as well that you could be about to release very soon, okay? These could be new projects with this um, 
with bad health, I don't see it as necessarily you having bad health. I mean, if you had a cold recently or you had something where you felt under the weather, you were tired, I feel like you're not going to be feeling like that anymore or you're going to be getting over that soon today. Even though I do not advise on medical situations, that's what it could possibly be. Um, but of course, if you feel like you have any issues with your medical history or with your um, overall health, you need to contact your doctor and not tarot. Um, so moving on. Um, I do feel like you could be releasing information here or releasing a new project here that you've been working on for a very long time. I feel like this is going to take you on a new journey. Okay. Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. What's occupation for my collective, please? Oh, wow. Thoughts in reverse. So I feel like you're no longer thinking on something. I feel like you're actually working on it. You're acting on it. What else is um, occupation? Wow. Okay. Judication. Yeah. I feel like you've decided to stop thinking about something and do it. Or so, this is someone around you. I feel like you've decided to stop thinking about something and do it. We have wealthy man at the back and main female at the bottom of the deck. I feel like there's going to be some type of movement when it comes to a business deal or when it comes to some type of decision that's being made this could be a legal decision this could be your lawyer um i feel like your lawyer could actually be going to court for you this week or today you could have a court date today um i feel like it's no longer an imaginative um situation or it's no longer a situation that's just on your mind i feel like it's actually coming to fruition like if you were waiting on a court date now it's finally here or if you were trying to decide if you were going to uh, maybe sell a new product, create a new business, I feel like you're not thinking about it anymore. You're finally deciding to do so, okay? Or the courts and the judge are just working on your case. Um, somebody's actually reading your application today um, that maybe you put in last week. They're actually reading over it, reading your resume, making a decision about whether or not to hire you or not hire you. I feel like they're done thinking about it, but I can't really... Um, say for sure if it's going to go in your favor or not. Yeah. What's family room? Change. Oh, wow. So some of you could definitely be moving to a place where you feel more comfortable. You could be moving to a place where you have more space. What else is family room? What else is family room? For my collective, please, for today, Tuesday, June 22nd. Okay, official person. Wow. So there could be, like, listen, I really do feel like there could be a lawyer or a judge or someone here who is working on your behalf or some type of decision that's being made that's going to allow you to, like, move, change your life. See, unexpected income at the bottom, main male. So you could be getting some type of child support or alimony, or you could have a judge or someone be deciding upon your your case okay maybe this is a lawsuit as well it doesn't have to necessarily be divorce or child support it could be a lawsuit that you're filing it could be a lawsuit against a family member um but i feel like there's a decision that's about to be made that's going to provide you with unexpected income and it's about to change your financial situation okay that's why i feel like you need to look at money in a very you know careful way right now because i feel like a lot of you guys could be coming into some money. And if you are not managing your mindset on money properly, and if you have a poverty stricken mindset, you're not going to be able, it's like, it's, it's going to get fucked up. Okay. What's bad health in the reverse? What's bad health in the reverse? Like if you spend too much, if you overspend, if you shop too much, or if you have an unhealthy relationship with money where you're just really super cheap, and you don't give back, that's going to stop your money from coming in. Ooh, shit. What's bad health in the reverse? Shit. Privileged lady. So someone who's been taken care of, I feel like their whole life. Okay, privileged lady. Yes, sometimes I call a gold digger, but it's not necessarily just a gold digger. It's just a feminine energy of someone who has had their whole life. Some Someone who may have even been born into wealth or has a trust fund or um, some type of allotment of money to where they don't have to take care of themselves or someone who marries well, okay? I feel like someone could, you know, no longer be trapped in a situation where they're financially unstable with bad health. Like, this is a stressful situation. 
This is a stressful situation. And I feel like a lot of you guys, especially in the feminine energy, could be coming out of a very stressful financial situation where you are able to be taken care of now or you're able to take care of yourself without the immense amount of stress that you've been under. Yeah, distant horizons and high honor. I feel like you never thought that this would happen or maybe you didn't even know about this because it was maybe um, an inheritance or... Ooh, or something that ooh, or something that's coming from like a distant relative that you knew nothing about. It's like, yeah. What else is bad health in the reverse? Oh my God, toil and labor in the reverse. Some of you guys are not gonna have to work anymore. Privileged lady and toil and labor. I feel like there is something that's definitely gonna like either let you focus on your home business to where it's like your bills are gonna be taken care of. Like you're getting some type of inheritance, you're getting some type of divorce settlement, you're getting some type of maybe unexpected income. I don't think it's necessarily the lottery because that's sudden wealth to me. It was unexpected income. So I feel like it's either like back child support, back alimony, um, a lawsuit that's been settled and it's in your favor or, you know, some type of trust fund or will or something like that, that maybe has been held up in court or something is, it's like you've been working on something for a really long time, or you've just been working your whole life. You've been in a situation because the opposite of everything that came out is like this. You've had to work your entire life. You've had to take care of everyone else, everything else, your entire life. You have not been able to relax. You have worked your fingers to the bone. You've put blood, sweat, and tears into a lot of situations. And you felt trapped in work situations where you were not getting ahead or you were not able to feel as if you had any freedom. You could not breathe. You could not take a vacation. You, you couldn't do anything but work, 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 work like a slave. And it wasn't getting you anywhere. Okay. It was even sometimes making you fatigued, exhausted, and sick. And you felt like no one was taking care of you. This is what's happening today. It's like you could definitely have um, a decision that is being made or in the process of being made that is going to yield you, sorry, it's going to yield you a lot of security. That's just what I feel. I feel like you guys are coming into a situation where you're no longer going to have to worry about working yourself to the bone every single fucking day. I mean, you know, and you're going to, you, you're, you're about to reap the honors that I feel like you deserve in a situation. Yeah, it's like, I feel like you're expecting the unexpected already. I feel like you're waiting on something. I do feel like you're going to have to wait a little bit longer to actually see the results come to fruition. But I feel like the gears are turning right now because that's kind of what I see. The gears on this card, I feel like the gears are turning right now. And there may be some like little delays when it comes to court or when it comes to judges or when it comes to like people being in the office. But I feel like if you continue to work hard, you know, and if you continue to be positive with your mindset, okay, because this to me is about mindset. I feel like whatever you're expecting to happen is going to be good and it's going to be in your favor, but you have to have patience and you have to have positivity and you have to make sure that you're not being delusional in a situation. So I hope this has helped you guys. Of course, as always, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Stick to the positivity today and every day. Be blessed and don't let these motherfuckers steal your joy. Bye.